Hi, sir. Um, so it's 2018, and I really think that you should look into getting a personal website. Um, everyone has a personal website these days, and uh, we could really, I think we could really do wonders for you. I'm actually a web, well, my, my mom says I'm a web developer. I, I really think that it could do a lot for you if you just, right, sir? We could talk about the lamp stack, React, the either of those butter your croissant. What's up YouTube? So there's this guy down the road who needs a new website and I was just looking around and I was thinking about walking down there and asking if he wants a new website and I like a little video promotional and if he'd let me use it for YouTube and I'm not going to charge him anything for it. Uh, I just want to do it for free but I am not a salesman and he's probably going to think I'm some sort of scammer or a con artist trying to get something but I'm not. So I just got home from work and I'm going to go ask him if, you, if he'll let me do it for free uh, before, before I... Uh, you know, puss out, I guess. Um, before I go ask, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna dress down a little bit so I seem a little bit more normal. And unless, like, I just got out of a, a trap music video. You don't know if you don't try, right? So. Hi. Hey, are you the... Yeah, what can I guess you... I was talking to your... Your husband, you live right there, right? No. Oh, where, does the guy, uh, is the owner? The owner, he's at lunch right now. Can oh, I help real? you? Oh, yeah, so I just wanted to ask him if I could redo his website, basically. Um, I'm his neighbor, I just, I like, I want to do it for free. I have a little YouTube channel. So I looked up your website for this, and I'm a web developer as a job, and I was like, okay, well, maybe they'll let me make one for them totally free, and then I'll just... You know, I don't know, that's something that my uncle would have to help you with. Really? So, yeah. Um, so, you might want to check back. Yeah. Um, you know, he's probably going to be out here about 5.30. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't it close at like 6? Yeah. Like I said, I, yeah. I'm just a worker. Okay. So, I'll come back at like maybe 5.30, right? Yeah. Okay. He cool. should be back in here around then. Sounds good. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yep. Finding the client. That's what we're talking about today. How do you find it? Well, there are a couple different ways. You could cold call. You could use Google Maps. Call them up and be like, hey, do you need a website? I looked at your website. Um, I can make one. I'm a web developer. Nine out of 10 times, you're going to get mid-sentence. You're just going to hang up the phone and it's going to hurt if you're not born a salesman. And um, I'm not born a salesman. So there's another way. You can do the emailing option, which is where you email them and then 10 out of 10 times, you will not get a response. Mm, they're going to think that it's scam. They're going to think that it's a scam or that it's spam or that it's some guy trying to make a quick buck and doesn't actually care about the quality of the work. I would say the best and the hardest way to go about finding freelance clients is to do it in person. Let me just say I'm an introvert. I spent most of my life indoors playing WoW and Halo. Um, that was basically my entire middle school and I am not a salesman by trade, but I'm not going to put myself in that box. I just wasn't born a salesman. I didn't do it. Uh, of course, if you practice, you can do anything you want. Hard work beats talent. That's how it goes. So, you just walk right in, which is what I did and my heart is still beating a mile a minute uh, from when I did earlier. She said, come back in an hour. And so I, I came home and I was like, do I go back in an hour or is this the part where she calls the police and tells them that I'm trespassing? and this is like the worst idea in the world, what am I doing with, with this video idea? I've never seen so many planes fly over my house than when I want to film this video. Now I could have just sat in my chair with the typical side view and you know, showed you this is Upwork.com. Make an account here. So you're competing against a bunch of other people that are working for cheaper than you versus if you walk in and communicate and you're not weird about it, you can, you can do that. So I wanted to do that for this video Instead, I want to do something more practical, something that pushes me, something that helps me grow as a person. And if I can do this, you can do this. Um, this is pretty much one of the hardest things. I was stressing about it all day at work. You better not jump that fence, dog. I was stressing about it all day at work. Should I do, do this? Should I just do the Upwork video? I have to push myself to do this and show you guys what it's really like. Um, I've actually called people before. I've emailed people. I've got hung up on. It hurt. It was hard. Um, this is, I just like walked in and I was like, hey, let me make you a website. And, um, after some finagling, it's a fun word, they said okay, and yeah, so I'll let you guys watch. 31, let's go back up there and see what they have to say. So 
I was riding my skateboard around the other day. I don't know if you, you remember? Uh huh. So basically, I have a little YouTube channel. I'm a programmer. I had some viewers that were asking some questions of how they can get started making websites for people. And so I looked up this website and I was like, hey, maybe I can make them a website and I can make a little promo video for your deli because I know that's what you're famous for is your deli sandwiches. And I was just wondering if, like, you don't have to give me any information. It's all for free on me. I can just email it to you. I was wondering if you'd let me do that. I think it would, you know, well. Uh, my, yeah, I, I'm illiterate when it comes to all that stuff, but yeah. my son kind of does our internet stuff. Hey, so I was just asking, I guess he's your dad, right? uh -huh. websites. And so I looked up this website and I'm a web developer. I guess my day job or something. Uh -huh. thing. And I was like, hey, maybe I can make you guys a website totally free, just on me. I can email it to you. I don't need any information or anything like that. I just wanted you're okay with it. Sure, if you want to do a mock, I mean, the information needed would be on that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that basically, it's just a. Uh, the only reason we have that is because it's a cheap, uh, basically, yeah, sure. model. It's almost like using a like PowerPoint. I mean, whatever. I can show you kind of like a little channel. It's just about programming. I teach people to code yeah. and stuff. Yeah, we'd hook you up however we could and help you out. No, it's all good. It's just totally like. You'll get lots of views and a lot. I know that's what you're famous for is your sandwiches, so. Yeah, the sandwiches yeah. and hot sauce, but yeah, primarily the uh, website is just to format the menu, just in a in a more, in a clearer way. This is my little YouTube channel, a couple like. Yeah, oh channel. yeah, no, that's so solid, yeah. If you want help, like, I can help you launch it, but if you just know how to do it yourself, I can just give you all the files and you can do it, but. I think this would make a really cool video. So. Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't know how to necessarily launch one that's that's been made from the ground well, I mean, up. I can so. do it for you. It costs like I don't know, maybe ten bucks for a year. I can do it. Oh maybe. well, yeah, we, we yeah, that's. I mean, I'm like, that yeah, would be a problem. Like, sure. Yeah, that's basically. So there's my personal email. The thing about freelancing and sales is that it's your job to sell someone a product that they don't necessarily want or know that even exists. And it's your job to convince them to want something that they didn't even know they wanted two seconds ago. Like you don't know about it, but you want it. It's gonna be the best thing that happened to you since sliced bread, I can promise you that. And it can be kind of hard to tell someone like, hey, um, the website's not good. <laughs> I can do it a lot better. What you have is garbage. Like you gotta be amicable about it. You have to say it in an eloquent way that makes them say, oh yeah, well, or you know, maybe sometimes people are already aware of it. Like this person says, oh, we we're using it because it was cheap, but if you can do it better and you can just, you know, it's all about providing that value. So that's the thing about sales. So luckily for me, I had just finished reading Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort. Uh, you know, the Wolf of Wall Street, this guy, Actually, wait, uh, this guy, the real one, Jordan Belfort, and he wrote a sales book called The Straight Line System, and I had just finished reading that, and I tried to keep a few things in mind when I was talking to him. It's all about your tonality, being reasonable, um, not being too pushy, and building rapport. All those things I tried to keep in mind. Uh, there's a lot more basics and fundamentals to The Straight Line System, but when I was under that kind of pressure and being kind of introverted, I was just remembering, you know, keep a cool tone, don't be too pushy, don't be too awkward. So part of the reason that I make these videos is that I want to grow and be able to talk to the camera better, become less introverted, just put myself in uncomfortable situations, and if I fail, then I, great, I, I hope I'm failing forward. That's my whole goal, just to fail forward. And I'll just keep doing it, keep doing it, and if you're uncomfortable, that means you're growing and you're learning, and it's a good place to be even though you subconscious says that you don't like to be there. So after all of that conversation and me talking back and forth with them, this was the golden ticket. Wait, this was the golden ticket that they, well, it's, it's more of a sticky note, but he gave me his email and that's something. And uh, he told me to just email the site over. You know, I'm not doing this for compensation. They offered to like, oh, maybe we can help you out. I was like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not charging you for it. I just want to make a video for the viewers and show them that uh, you can do this and it's uncomfortable, but you can do it. Kind of, it's, a, it's a small little family business. They make sandwiches the size of small children and that's what they're famous for. And that and their hot sauce selection. And I just want to help them grow, right? The little family run, mom and pop shop type deal. And I think, you know, I just, I want to help them. I want to help you. Uh, it helps me learn how to do this better and kind of, I don't know, perfect this craft as well. I don't know, it's, it's overall just a, a good project to do. Helps everyone out. I'm not in it for the compensation. Uh, maybe if he gives me a sandwich, then I'll be cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little first part of the video. Um, just want to mix things up a little bit with the editing and stuff too. So I hope that's cool. And um, I'll see you in part two where we're actually doing the work for the client. I actually have to follow up with him right now. Yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Leave a little subscribe, hit that little bell, you get notifications. Um, we have a Discord. Link for the Discord is in the description. You can follow me on all the normal social media, websites, uh, Instagram, Twitter if you want. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys in part two. Thanks for watching.